Hey YouTubers, this is EMDSD14R and this is New Trains Part 17. That's right, New Trains Part 17. And this video is going to be extra awesome today as you guys probably see. Um, these are my new Sounder Bombardier uh, cars. As you can see, there's six of them. Uh, I, rec I recently got these from someone. And I also have a undecorated coach unfortunately I can't run it right now because one of the wheels are messed up so I need to get some styrene and uh, get that fixed um, but you know at least I'm able to run uh, six out of the original seven that I purchased um, all the all these cars are actually cab cars um, that's all they had actually um, Probably two or three are going to be left as cab cars. Uh, this one obviously will be left as a cab car because it has the directional lighting. I'll get that get to that into a bit. Um, but I will have to do some modifications on the other ones um, to convert them into coaches. They will retain their original windows, of course. The lights will probably get plated over. The horn details will probably get removed and reused on some other models. Um, let's go with the let's go with the inner set first. Um, this is cab car number 101, and they're all different numbers. There's 100, and then there's 104, and they're all sounder cars. Uh, I don't have any sounder engines. These will be getting repainted into my uh, railroad's cover, my railroad's commuter paint scheme. Although I was thinking about actually just patching out the, the sounder on the on the side here and just putting. Uh, Welsh Transit here. I was thinking about doing that since it would actually be a lot easier to just patch the cars. Um, and then this is cab car 102. And then this is 103. And that one way back here is 105. Uh, so yeah, let's go into detail about the 102. Um, as you guys can see, it has directional lighting which is really cool uh, the person that actually sold me this uh, set actually built built the circuit for this themselves and you can actually see here the wires that go to the trucks and there's little copper little copper uh, I would say not uh, I would say pins not really pins but it's a real thin piece of copper wire that's over the trucks and that's what's able to that's what uh, enables the car to pick up the electrical current only one truck is powered or one truck picks up electrical current I should say um, although I would recommend I would probably add another uh, another set on the rear truck here um, there we go uh, there are some people in the interior of the car I don't think yeah, there's a person. Uh, my wrist. Yeah, there's a person right there, and then there's another person right in there. There's another person right there, talking to another person in the seat. Yeah, there's like two people in those seats right there. So really can't see it from this angle, but. Um, it does, there's people in there. Um, I actually did have all these cars connected at one point. But it's not, uh, it's too much for one engine to do right now. Um, so I split them up. I have the second set being pushed by my P42 number 108. And then this set here. is being pushed by my F40PH number 399. Now these aren't the these aren't the first Bombardier coaches I purchased. I actually have two West Coast Express um, Bombardier coaches and uh, well Bombardier coach and a cab car. So all together I have nine of these cars in my collection. Now the West Coast Express ones will not be repainted. I am going to get the, the locomotive for I think it's an MP36 MP36-3C, I believe. Um, 
I know it's an MP. Pretty sure, yeah. I know what it is. Um, I just need to get the engine f uh, for for that set. Um, and Nicholas Smith does have two of these sets at their shop. One is a Metrolink set, and then the other one is a, I think it's a uh, Rail Runner, Rail Runner set. And they both come with two coaches. Each come with each set comes with a cab car and one F59 PHI. Um, if I do buy those sets, I'll probably just repaint them anyway. Um, just because, because uh, it, it honestly, it's really hard to find these. It's really hard to find these cars undecorated. I mean, this is this is an undecorated one. It's really hard to find them undecorated. Um, all I have to do is put the windows in, paint the seats, um, and whatnot. The grab irons are already installed, which is good. Um, I wish I could run this car, but I can't, unfortunately. So, but. Yeah, it, it's 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 okay. Uh, we're I'm really happy about the directional lighting of this cab car though. It's actually my first cab car with lights, and I think they're they're not they're not LEDs. They're they're grain wheat bulbs. Um, I think yeah, they're grain wheat bulbs as I can see. Yeah, they're grain wheat bulbs, and they're really bright. They really are bright. The cars do track well. They do track well. Um, one of the other cab cars will be getting lights. That clicking you're hearing is the coupler pin brushing up against the front uh, plow uh, of the car. So, I mean, if you guys take a look, you can actually see what I'm talking about. As soon as the train passes, you'll see for it. But if you see that, the pins are actually brushing up right against the plow. Um, that can be easily solved if you put, like, I'm going to do an experiment and put long shank couplers on this. Or another thing you could do is you could trim the pins back. Um, that's one option. Or you could just cut the pins off together. That eliminates that issue. And because the good thing about these cars is... The diaphragms are really close together, and when you're pushing them, they actually touch, which is really nice. Which is really nice. I like that. You got the cable detail and everything, the disc brake detail. Very, very nice cars. Highly recommend getting them um, if you can get your hands on them. I will be needing more coaches because I have a sufficient fleet of cab cars. Um, I probably will keep one. I'm definitely going to keep that one with the lights of cab car, and I'm probably going to keep two more as cab cars. Um, but then the other two will probably get converted to coaches. I'm not really sure yet. I know some of them will be converted to coaches, but the one with the lights will not be touched. It will, it'll be, it will remain as a cab car. And the good thing about it is it can be easily converted to DCC and sound, which is probably what I'm going to do anyway. Um, so, yeah. These are the trains I've been waiting for for a while. And, uh, just wanted to share this with you guys because these trains are really cool. So, I hope you enjoy this video, y'all. See ya.